Hi guys, Callum here from 3D Tomorrow. In this video, as part of my Tinkercad tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to edit pre-existing STL files and turn them into something else. Uh, in this video, I make this, which is uh, an Alexa style holder in the form of the Thinker. Let's go. The other day my friend came across this post on my Instagram and asked if I could create one for his Alexa. Happily I obliged and I'm going to show you how I did this in this video. The original design is from the Omniscient on my mini factory and it was created using the Thinker scan which is also from my mini factory and I will post a link to this in the description. So I made these edits using Tinkercad so that I can add this video to my Tinkercad tutorials. As I've said before, it's a really easy to use free online software and is really powerful in this sense for editing pre-existing STL and OBJ files. Since I'm going to turn this into an Alexa holder rather than a Google Chrome holder, there's no point reinventing the wheel. And so I went to Thingiverse and found myself a suitable holder. I was ideally looking for one as close to the Google Chrome holder as possible. Uh, however, I did struggle to find anything that really matched it. And so in the end opted for this one uh, and accepted that I'd have to make a few edits to this file as well. Once the file had downloaded, I went ahead and imported it into Tinkercad as well so that I could start editing it to make it work with the Thinker in the same way that the Google Chrome holder did. So I had two issues with this design, which I wanted to adjust so that it would work as best as possible with the Thinker. Uh, the first being that the outside rim was much larger than it needed to be, so I needed to create a suitable hole that I could group with the holder to reduce this outside edge. I also needed to fill in some of the little cutouts that had been added to the holder to account for screws and the wire as uh, that's not relevant to this design when it's joined with the thinker. So you can see I missed a little bit there, so I just need to rearrange that hole so that it takes out all of that outside edge and doesn't take off any of the spokes sticking up. And then I used a tube to fill in the screw and cable holes that are not needed in this design. Any ideas? So once I'd adjusted the Alexa holder and that was looking good, I went ahead and checked the sizes of the Google Chrome holder to ensure that I made this thinker the same size. I could then go about assembling the Alexa holder into the thinker and removing the head. One thing I did want to ensure was that this holder sat slightly further back on the body because the center of mass in the Google Chrome holder was a little bit to the front and that meant that it could topple over quite easily, which I didn't want to be present in this design.
since that all looked good, I thought it was about time to export the file and then get it ready for 3D printing. However, when I opened up the file in the slicer, I realized that at some point it had actually got flipped the wrong way. As you can see, it's the opposite orientation to uh, the Google Chrome thinker. If this does ever happen, you've got two options. You can either mirror it in the slicer itself, or you can go back over to Tinkercad and drag it through itself and ensure that it's the same dimension as the other side and it will be the same as mirroring. All that's left to do is slice the file. I'm just going to use my standard 200 micron settings for this print and then let's see how it comes out. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I've shown you how to make this in Tinkercad using an existing STL file, two existing STL files actually, combining them together and using some of Tinkercad's features to make it all work. Uh, if you did enjoy the video and you would like to see more, then please do hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and if you have any comments for me, then please put them down below so that I can have a look. See you next time.